my name is Maria. Welcome to my channel MH Books. And you're welcome to the end of my first full day uh, in London. It's about nine, half nine at night. I've been here since about five o'clock yesterday evening and I was wondering what I should blog about because I might put some of the footage together or I might just watch Netflix. Probably Netflix. But <laughs> I'll also have a carpet picnic with some wine. Um, and I was wondering what you'd like. And I went, oh, maybe they would like to see how I enjoyed the more modern architecture in London this time. This is the second visit I've been in two years. So I was here last year in June, so June 2018. This is now the 1st of August 2019. And I just crossed me going and going, that's a year ago, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It was a year ago. Um, <laughs> I thought, oh, well, maybe they would like to see how this time I was inspired by the modern architecture around London. Insert clip here. Huge Maria. Isn't that just amazing? Hold on. Well, let's just have a look. La 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 la. Da, 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 da. Hmm. And then I thought, oh no, maybe you see this hotel room behind me. This is actually quite a cheap hotel. It's an Ibis. And sh in the one near Shoreditch, it, it's actually called the Ibis Shoreditch. It's not in Shoreditch, it's near it. Um, it's quite funky. Insert, uh, insert footage, Future Maria. So I'm quite enjoying this hotel. I go to a few hotels for work and stuff. And some of the cheap, and some one or two have been expensive when we got on the good deals because I work for a charity. But <laughs> and, and all the ones I go and travel with are always three stars. Um, but this one was quite fun. I really am enjoying it, and I do like the breakfast. Oh, and that was the other thing. I thought, oh, maybe I could vlog. I push myself a little bit. Maybe I could vlog about how easy vegan food is to get in London compared to Dublin. Insert footage or a film of uh, mostly eating Bernie. I forgot to film eating the food, I just mostly ate it. Um, but then I realised this was booktube. What we wanted to see was the London bookshops and probably a book haul. This will be split into two. This is the London bookshops or the Bookshops of London version or episode, whatever it is. <laughs> the book haul will be separate. The rules for buying books were one, you are restricted, this blue case behind me, um, two, you're going to have to buy an additional bag <laughs> to get on the Aer Lingus flight from London to Dublin, but you're restricted. <laughs> to the weight that's allowed on that. Um, you're restricted in financial terms to £80. I'll touch it up as I go in the, in the actual um, footage for this one in the bookshops. So, and you're restricted to weight and size. So, you'll see a couple of issues as we go through the day with me and the weight and the size. Um, and, and I bought a I'm allowed to buy one book from each bookshop. Um, I didn't buy one from one of the bookshops because I couldn't find anything I wanted under £25. It was absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely wanted. Um, I'm not allowed back in that bookshop. Okay, let's see what happens.
to three bookshops. Um, the first one was Dance, and they're famous for organizing their books dancers. The books dancers are organized in the countries. So you have travel sections at the front, <laughs> at the top, and then down near the bottom, there will be the fiction books. So I think I went through and I showed you the Polish section, which would have um, Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead. I think that's the name of the book that isn't. I put the name up. And the Disoriental and Persepolis from the Iranian section. Um, it's an interesting way to organize your books. Um, interesting book that I bought there too. Um, interesting reason for buying the books, but you'll see that in the book haul. Then we went over to Blackwell's. Blackwell's is famous for three for twos. Three for twos, if you want to go and get them in Dublin, if you're really into them, that's three books for the price of two, um, will be Dubray's in Grafton Street. Um, which is one of the big tourist streets, so yeah, you definitely see Debray's bookshop. But in London, it's Blackwell's, and yes, it caused a bit of an issue because I'm only supposed to buy one book for one book from each bookshop. Um, did I manage to do it or not? We will see. Um, and then I went into, um, I, I'll put the name of the bookshop, uh, a more of an occult bookshop, but I actually picked up chemistry books, as you do. There's a helicopter, making sure. Um, which I didn't actually pick up any books from there, but he did give me a list of um, all the other shops that sell similar books. I was looking for a book for a research bit for some of my writing. Um, and so then, as you can see, I'm at the British Museum. Um, there is a bookshop inside, but I will be spending more time with the exhibit, exhibit, the exhibits, um, <laughs> and less time with you guys. Bye bye. Too heavy to carry. Again, too physically heavy, but I really, really want it. But I can carry this. So basically you could just come back and see in some of the oldest writings in the world. Um, they started off with bookkeeping and accounting. And as that's my profession, that means that the whole of booktube owes my profession. Um, a big thank you for starting writing. The writing soon turns into literature, mostly about how wonderful the kings were around. Um, and yeah, I wanted to haul a couple of the books, but unfortunately, them be, they being on clay, they were a bit heavy for my luggage allowance on our link, so I decided not to. So I may have hauled a slightly different book from the bookshop. All right, see you then.
So outside St. Paul's Cathedral, which believe it or not was the quietest place I could find. Um, so where did we go off to next? Mm. Uh, Gay is the word, and which interestingly sells LGBTQ books, which most people should know from Booktube. But if you don't, they sell LGBTQ books. It's given, the name gives it away. Have, they have um, the gay books on one side, the lesbian books on the other side, and in between they have all the trans and all the in-betweeners. Um, then went around to Scoobs, who was in the middle of calling security because people throw books down the stairs. Scoobs is books spelt backwards, and they sell second-hand books. Um, and I was really tempted to break my rule and buy a hardback book there, but no. Then after that we went to Persephone Books. Persephone Books has the advantage of buying, you buy the books in the bookshop. So the Persephone Books obviously, or not obviously if you don't know, but, um, most people who watch a lot of British booktube know, um, they sell mostly um, female authors. They do sell some male. Um, and they're the kind of books that went out of publication, so they just, Dorothy Whipple would be one of the most popular authors there. But the advantage of buying the books in their bookshop is you get the bookmark, and they're all in these beautiful grey covers, which you get their bookmark too. Then we went to Forbidden Planet, where I concentrated on the books. My sister would have gone to the graphic novels. If she'd, graphic novels and comics if she'd been here, so would my niece. Um, but you probably can guess if you watched the channel before which section of the books I went to. So they sell mostly um, sci fi, fantasy, and horror. And then we went to Foils, which is one of those bookshops which were taken over by Waterstones, so it's secretly a Waterstones. Um, but they maintain the original files. Um, it's exactly the same as when it was in London last year, so they maintain the original files, layout and staff. So for files shops, I usually go to um, the staff picks, and because it's a big, it's a huge bookshop, um, the horror section, I don't look through all the things. The bookshop is just too big for me. So you can guess whether I got it from staff picks or the horror. I have to say that last year I got it from one and this year I got it from the other. But I'm not giving this away because it wasn't filming last year. And yeah, that's it. Um, here is some sights. Um, so see you back in the hotel. So that is the end of the Bookshops in London vlog. Um, I do hope whatever you buy, you enjoy it. Whatever you borrow from the library, you enjoy it. Whatever you borrow from your friends, that you enjoy it. And I hope you're not stealing any books, because that'd be wrong. Until next time, bye.